Hi everyone, welcome to another Hatton's Model Railways live stream and welcome to a Your Model Railway news session where we tailor the news to make sure you know everything that's coming up in the world of model railways. As you've no doubt seen by the title to today's stream, we're covering the era five of model railway. So this covers the late 1950s through to the end of steam in the late 1960s, what's commonly known as the transition era from steam to the more modern diesel and electric locomotives. We'll be covering double O scale models because there is a huge amount of news here at the moment with so many updates from many different manufacturers, including project development updates on new toolings, new release announcements and more models coming through at great bargain prices too. So I've got a bit of everything for you today. We've got steam and diesel and some rolling stock too, as you can see. So if you've got any questions regarding modeling this particular era or any of the products that you see today, either head over to that link in the description where there is some more information. If you're watching live, put your question in the chat and I'll answer as many as I can throughout the stream. Or if you're watching a little later on, feel free to comment on the video or get in touch with our customer experience team who will be more than happy to answer any questions that you have. But let's get started. Let's dive in straight away. And Heldron have very recently, within the last week, announced their 2021 product catalog. Although this includes a lot of items we were already aware of, there was still the chance for quite a few new announcements and some clarifications of details there too. And the first of these is a return to form for the O2 Tango locomotive. These were developed in real life by the Great Northern Railway and used right through until 1963. So they're perfectly valid for us transition era modelers and new models are being released with the late crest. So perfect for our era. This time the model is going to be a little bit different. You can see here from this initial CAD render that the original style Great Northern short and tall cabs are going to be produced on these locomotives. And these cover the O2 stroke one and O2 stroke two subclasses. These were hinted at when the models were originally released about five or six years ago now, and they have been in strong demand, as well as for the modelers of the earlier eras, the fully accurate for the later era modelers too. So you can get one of these onto your layout and new versions are being released with the late crest. This is one of the original style models that you see here in front of me. So it'll be a welcome return to see these locomotives coming back into stock with new numbers, new identities and some weathered versions too. Heldron have informed us that they're looking about the middle of late summer 2021 for release and they start at £169.15. They have a 21 pin decoder socket in them, room for a digital sound speaker should you wish to include it and a really weighty die cast chassis so these powerful freight locomotives can handle trains as they would have done working along the East Coast Main Line in real life. So if you head over to that link in the description, we have weathered versions in the Lake Crest and we have pristine versions in the Lake Crest condition available to order there too. So some great news there for you East Coast modelers who need a freight locomotive on their layout. Sticking with the O2 theme, let's go from the LNER O2 to the British Rail Class O2. And again, we're sticking with Heldrum for a new update on a previously announced item. This is the O2 diesel shunter. So this is a locomotive that's had a few details already about its O gauge counterpart in the Heldrum range. But now we're seeing some development on the highly anticipated double O gauge model too. These are now expected to come through in late 2021 and some of the computer aided design work is being developed. So we should see some tooling and some of the first engineering prototypes from those as we head into 2021. The most important thing is Helgen have confirmed prices, product codes and identities for the initial batch of these locomotives. And whilst they're covering a lot of the life of these engines that came into traffic in the early 1960s and were seen in yards across the UK, we are getting some great versions available in the liveries that we need for our Era 5 modelers. So we'll be getting the BR Green, as we see it here, with both the red and the yellow buffer beam options, and of course, some later liveries there. If you're not an Era 5 modeler, but you are tuning into today's video, we do have later liveries catering for you. But the main focus of today is to make sure we're getting an ideal locomotive, as we see here, covering that 
early to mid 1960s period. And this is one of the last gaps in diesel shunters in double O gauge. Now we've seen a huge amount of super detailed shunters come through in the last 10 to 15 years with the likes of Hornby's Class 08, the Backman Class 03, and of course, Heldron's very own Class 05 and Class 07 shunters too. So we're really starting to fill those gaps on the more specialist shunters now. And you don't really see the four wheel formation too often, as you see here on the Class 02. The shunter models that we've seen out there are more of the 060 wheel arrangement rather than the 040. So it is something slightly different to incorporate on your layout too. Ben Davis there already can't wait for this one to come out and I can't either. It really does fill a gap and they're ideal for small freight yards. With that small wheelbase, you can get them onto a harbour side scene too. And these locomotives were seen in service with British Rail right up until the late 1970s. But around 50 of them were built and used in the 1960s. So you've really got some great excuses to get one onto your layout too. Have a look at the numbers and deliveries that are available to pre-order right now. As said, we're expecting those in about a year's time at the moment, but keep an eye on our page and of course our channel for more updates as and when they come through from Helgen. You can pre-order them now starting at 126.65 and Helgen have promised us full lighting capacity, an 18 pin digital decoder socket and full sound capability in there too, which for a really small diesel shunter is going to pack in a lot into such a small but perfectly formed locomotive. So check that out if you are in the market for a new diesel shunter. But let's head back over to the East Coast now. We've covered our heavy freight locomotive. Let's head to one of the Express, let's head to two of the Express passenger locomotives. And these are the forthcoming models of Hornby's Thompson Pacifics. The A2 stroke two that we see here in its transition era livery that we're covering today. And the A2 stroke three, which is the later version of these particular locomotives. Again, as with our Class 02 shunter, these really do fill a gap in so many people's collections. With locomotives of the LNER already available, a lot of the Pacifics really covered from the A1s, the A2s by Backman, the A3s and A4s covered by Hornby 2. These are some of the last Pacific locomotives to fill the gaps and make sure that people can get a complete collection. Deliveries are coming through from the 1940s to the 1960s. Unfortunately, none of these locomotives survive with us in preservation today. But you can pick these up in the colour schemes that are most appropriate to today's stream. The A22 is unfortunately sold out to pre-order at the moment. But do head over to the link in the description and register your interest just in case we are able to get a little bit of extra stock when that arrives with us in late spring 2021. We are still taking pre-orders on the A2 stroke three, as you can see here, Suncastle number 60523. These are coming in at £171. And if you head over to that link in the description, you can pre-order one right now. They have an eight pin digital socket with space for a digital sound speaker in there too. And as we expect from Hornby's Pacific locomotives of any company, whether we're looking at the Bully Pacifics, the LMS Coronations and Princesses, and of course their own LNER Pacifics too, it's going to have a fantastic haulage capacity. It's going to have a huge amount of detail on there. And these initial samples in that later BR Green livery really do show up some of the finer details that will be becoming available on these locomotives. So if you have a pre-order in already, hopefully that's a useful update. If you are tempted by one of these locomotives, we have very limited pre-order slots available now for Suncastle. So do head over to the link in the description or put a register an alert on either of the locomotives. And if we do manage to get some more stock of these coming through, we will let you know and we will open our pre-order books again as and when we can do. So some great new Pacific locomotives coming through there from Hornby and it's been fantastic to get an update on those decorated samples too. So let's stick with decorated samples. Let's head back over to diesel. As we are in the transition area with Era 5, steam did replace diesel and it was a little bit back and forward across the regions. So we can keep it back and forward today to hopping backwards and forth between steam and diesel traction. 
So let's head over to Heldron's double O gauge class 25. And again, this is something we've very recently seen the decorated samples for. The models coming through in a variety of liveries from their construction in the mid 1960s to the 1990s. But of course, today's focus is the BR green color scheme. In my opinion, my favorite color scheme carried by these particular locomotives, the two-tone green there, as they were built and delivered to British Railways from around 1963 onwards. Heldron's locomotives covers the later body style with the three larger windows on the front, with locomotives like this built by the likes of Bayer Peacock in Manchester, and again spreading all across the country and the network by the late 1960s there. And this is a fully brand new tool model and it's already charming some of you. Ono Mulder saying there, it's absolutely stunning. And I fully agree, they really have gone to town on the details on this locomotive. You can see the bogey detail there as well as some of the cab interior detail. And this model built on the successful Class 25 that they recently released in O-Gage 2. So they've managed to find a shrinking grey somewhere and shrink it down so us o double O-Gage modellers of Era 5 and beyond can enjoy it on their layouts too. So as ever with Heldron and the smaller diesel locomotives, we're expecting this to pack a real punch. Fully die-cast chassis in there, 21-pin digital decoder socket, fully controllable directional lighting and space for a huge sound speaker too. So really looking forward to those coming through. We're expecting those towards late spring 2021 and our pre-order books are still open. They start at 152.96. And if you'd like to learn some more about the different colors, identities and liveries coming through, we have got information again on that link in the description. And just to pull up one of my favorite locomotives from previous years from the Heldron Small Diesel Fleet, it's the Class 15. I just thought I'd show you one that does come in from time to time if you check out our pre-owned selection and if you wanted to see a fully completed Heldron double O gauge diesel in the flesh appropriate for our era this is how the models will arrive with us and you can see the level of detail there on this particular locomotive and if you do like the class 15s of course we do have a small number of those available right now but just showing you that this is something the level that we should expect if not higher with the class 25 in the initial decorated sample here. Heldron have pointed out that there's a couple of very, very minor amendments to make to some of these color samples. I'll be quite honest, I spent quite a few minutes looking at these photos before I came onto the stream, and even I can't pick out where these supposed errors are. So Heldron have really, really hidden them away. To me, everything looks fully accurate on that locomotive, from the colors to the definition of the fonts on the numbers and in the head code blinds too. So. If it can get better than perfect, it sounds like it really is going to. So head over to our website. There's more images of those samples on our website there, and you can follow the link in the description for that. So sticking with the diesel theme, and this really is hot off the press news. We actually only got this around 24 hours ago, so I managed to plan it into today's stream. And this is another diesel update for double O gauge. This is the Acura Scale Class 37. This is the first engineering prototype of this model. Again, coming through in quite a few different varieties from the 1960s right up to the current day. But fortunately for today's stream, this first prototype shows the original five locomotives as built. So this would be the locomotives that were delivered in 1960, 1961. And we can see again that a huge amount of detail that is being added to this locomotive with some of the etched parts, including the frost grills on the side, uh, the fully flush glazing, and indeed just lots of really nice parts there, especially the full bogey and buffer beam detail. As we mentioned, it's coming through in quite a few different liveries. The one that's most appropriate to us today is D6702, used in the East Anglia region upon its delivery but again a lot of these locomotives very quickly headed all across the UK and could be seen on railways especially in South Wales 
the northeast of England and East Anglia, certainly in the early 1960s, and then started to spread even further beyond that. This model is available to pre-order right now. It's $169.99, and we do have digital sound versions available for pre-order too. And we've been told to expect those in late summer 2021. So again, everything you've seen here today, we will put the latest information on our website as and when we have it. So it's fantastic to see a brand new Class 37 coming through with the amount of detail included on there too. There's more and more pictures available showing some of the interior details on our website. So feel free to head over to that link in the description for more information. So we're coming up to a model that's actually been in stock now. So this is one that has arrived with us. And this is the latest variation of the Oxford Rail N7 locomotives. These have been really popular ever since their introduction about two years ago now. And we've covered them in several videos and pages on our website. So if you'd like to see some more, do have a look around our YouTube channel and our hattons.co.uk website for some more information and photos. Now, we have had an initial delivery of these locomotives. They were short supplied into the UK with various things that are going on at the moment, as we all know, around the world. There was only a limited supply that was able to arrive. So we have fulfilled some pre-orders on these, but Oxford Rail have confirmed the remainder of the stock will arrive with us in around January, February time. And we are still accepting pre-orders on these popular locomotives in this iconic Lake Crest livery, appropriate for today's Era 5 transition era stream. So if you'd like one of these locomotives, you can pre-order one right now. If you've already got a pre-order and it's not been fulfilled, we'll have one with you as soon as possible. And if you have a pre-order and you've been lucky to receive one already, I'm sure you'll agree with me that these are really fantastic locomotives with an incredible haulage capacity down to the huge amount of die-cast detail on there. So they're a great addition to any layout, coming in at under £100 too, at £98 on the pre-order price. So do take a look at those if you are in the need of a rugged tank engine for your layout. So last but not least, sticking with the steam theme to finish off, we'll get a closer look at the decorated sample for Hornby's forthcoming Standard 2 locomotives. This locomotive has topped the wishlist polls out there for quite a few years now and has always been sought after by modellers. And finally, in 2020, it is coming through in ready-to-run form. These were an adaptation of the previous LMS Ivert 2MT locomotives, which had been developed during World War II. And some amendments were carried out by British Railways to make sure that these locomotives could run on further parts of the network. So it's great to see them coming in now and coming available into model form. Hornby have very recently shown these decorated samples and we do still have this particular version available to pre-order. It is strictly limited pre-orders, but we can take pre-orders on the BR Green locomotive that you see here. These are £162 to pre-order, but you do get a lot of model for your money. You can see there again the full detail of the valve gear and the fully accurate printing and labelling on this locomotive and what looks like some fantastic cab details in there too. We've been told to expect these around May 2021, and that's including the two BR black versions, which are now sold out to pre-order. But again, make sure if you want a black version to register your interest. And if we manage to obtain any further stock, we will let you know if we can reopen the pre-orders again. Otherwise, if you're tempted by a BR green version, you can pre-order one of those right now by heading over to the link in the description. So as you can see, I did say at the start, it was a very busy period for modelers of double O gauge in the late 1950s and early 1960s. And this is just a small selection of the models that are coming through at the moment. We've got fully updated class 45 and class 47 diesels from Helgen, more models coming through from the likes of Dapol and Hornby that cater for this very popular era of modeling. And of course, a fully stocked range of items that can support those too. With Hornby's full range of BR Maroon Mark 1 coaches available right now, we've got other coaches available from different suppliers too. A huge amount of wagons covering departmental wagons and freight wagons for this particular era. And if you'd like to have a look at just what we have right now, you can head over to that link in the description 
for information on all the double O scale models that we either have right now at great bargain prices, or you can pre-order and check out some of the most hotly anticipated models of 2021. So I hope you've enjoyed this little bit of a roundup. If you want to see any more details on anything I've mentioned today, either head over to hattons.co.uk and head to our news page for all the latest model railway news, or put a comment under the video asking for more details on whatever you'd like to see or what you've enjoyed seeing today, and I'll be sure to get on there and answer as many questions as I can. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and our Facebook page for more great videos, including skills cast sessions, real railway profiles, and of course, all the latest model railway news too. Otherwise, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.